Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Guards of the Gate and the key was provided by developer. Um, Guards of the Gate is a roguelite um, turn-based tactical strategy game. Not very complex, uh, not very in-depth, but uh, I generally liked it. Uh, I played one time with the full team and then I died. However, you have some progression that passes to next run you basically get a couple of um, passive upgrades for the entire team, as much as I understand it. And that's a very nice uh, addition. I definitely prefer uh, roguelites to roguelikes, because I suck at them. So it's better if I can grind to victory instead of just dying and abandoning the game eventually. Uh, options maybe. Uh, sound is too much, so I'm gonna kill it a bit. Uh, music of course as well. Quality. Let's see how many options we have. Three options. Okay, uh, let's leave it on nice uh, resolution like this and it has full screen. So it's okay. We have sliders and full screen. Everything works. I can record it quite uh, easily. Uh, I'm gonna change the team this time because you have only four characters. I played with the uh, general team of two um, soldiers and one bowman. And uh, this time I'm gonna take mage. So we have this mutant who is a melee DPS. We have Knight who is a tank, uh, we have Bowman, Ranger. So I'm gonna switch this guy for uh, Wizard. We have only four characters to choose from, so not much, sadly. And we'll try to play with two ranged guys and one um, Knight. We'll see how far we can go. Uh, probably I won't be showing the full game uh, play because um, it's just too long. I'm not sure how long I played, I'm gonna check it now, maybe. Um, let's see. 58 minutes and that was basically one run but I was probably reading some tutorials and stuff alright so let's just start uh, it says it has four worlds I'm not entirely sure how it uh, uh, how it works it's actually four maps because I was I think I was in the third map at the end I'm not entirely sure but it's possible so I was almost at the end I died in third world or third map and if that was near the end, that means that the game is not very long. But it's hard to say. I just died there and uh, I didn't make it to the next one. Alright, so I'm gonna just kill them until we have all the characters. You can just kill here. I don't know if I have to. Do I have to? Maybe I don't. Um, can I just kill him like this? Probably. Alright. I'm leaving skills for the actual game because this is all tutorial. Uh, I think now we meet the other guy. I'm not sure if there's any difference if we go from left or from the uh, right. Let's see if I can move the map somehow. Uh, I don't know. Now I can't. Alright, so let's see the powers. This is the typical attack, uh, just normal damage. And this is what? Area attack all enemy. This looks okay. Aha, this is uh, close. Okay, this is close combat. I think. Is it? Or maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, it's too far. This is the range, I guess. So now I attack this guy. I don't know how. I just clicked attack and it attacked this guy. It was strange. This is probably more damage. Never hit as critical. It should be never hits. Uh, Alright. Six. We can see their HP uh, on the top right corner. No, this is annoying. Okay, let's attack this. Let's see if this is gonna attack our guy. Yeah, this is just clearing the area around us. This guy has less HP. Let's try to kill him. Of course, it didn't work. Alright, one more. And this guy. We are almost dead with this bowman, I think. Do we have 4 HP? I think we do. Okay, I'm gonna just attack again. Let me shoot him. Right, so your HP is not shown um, in here, as much as I understand it. Let me just try to do it. Okay, so, uh, you see your HP here. This is the guy. What? Yeah, now you see it. For some reason, when I played before, I didn't see my HP. This is strange. This is strange. Apparently you only heal in the bonfires and generally you don't, you don't heal. When you're wounded, you're wounded. This is very weird. This guy is 
This guy's wounded. We didn't fight him at all. He's level, yeah, level one. That makes sense. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how you check the bonuses from the previous game because we are supposed to have bonuses from previous game uh, from shrines, but I don't. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. So well, maybe they are just there. Hopefully. By the way, the game is a bit too loud overall. I don't know why. It's very. Uh, um, lowered sound, but still quite loud. Right, 20%. Let's see if now it shows properly. What does it show now? So, they have more. The wizard is fully healed. I don't know why this guy is wounded. If we just got him. This is strange. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna lower the sound a bit more, because it's apparently not very balanced. Gonna go even lower. Some sounds are much more loud than the others. Okay, let's go there. I guess we go there now. Is he wounded still? I don't know. It's very strange. Now he's yes, he's wounded, but I don't see the HP again. It's just a lower bar, but I don't see the actual HP. Uh, let's just go forward as a tank. And uh, maybe I will use this power to just uh, improve my defense because I don't want to um, let them to come near my other uh, soldiers. All right, let's first kill this guy completely and try to tie the boss with my tank. All right, like this, I would say. If he keeps attacking me, that's good because we might just. Uh, yeah, exchange blows and try to kill him. We don't have any other power, so we just attack with basic and that's it. I can hope that I have some bones from uh, the previous game. Some, I don't know, I think it was increased criticals or something like that. But I'm not entirely sure. I, I just hope it's there. I hope it's there because I don't see it anywhere. It would be nice if you have this somewhere displayed. Maybe it is displayed, but I don't see it. Let's see what's this. Ah, you can turn around. Alright. Can you do it with a mouse? No. Just like this. Ah, it's not needed. Okay, I'm just gonna attack them with basic attacks because I have nothing to use. Everything is on cooldown, I guess. And probably won't survive it. Because we're doing too little damage. Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, we made a crit, but it was b uh, bad. Alright, one more. Now he attacks, I'm dead. No, no, I'm not dead. I'm almost dead. Okay. Let's see if they are gonna heal after the whole thing. Uh, Medal of Health. Alright, so this should go to the tank, hopefully. Mm, right, so this is another map, right? That's how I understand it. Maybe that was tutorial, and now we are in the map. So this should go... Yeah, we can just put it to the guy or not. Apparently we can. And they are healed. After the boss, they are healed. Which, I don't know, it's not explained, but apparently they are. And this is bonfire. This is gonna heal us from what I've seen uh, from the description. So after you uh, get killed and then uh, win, your killed character is um, resurrected with 20% HP. And this also heals 20% HP. So I'm gonna go up. Um, I'm moving. Why, why it's not working? Jesus Christ, it's broken. I don't know what happened, guys. Now it's it's not responding. Wait. What happened? Nothing works. Alright, I'm going to go back. Probably the game was uh, blocked when I clicked the, uh, the move and it didn't move. Can I go there? Yes. Alright have skill. Alright, I, I don't know how it works, I have to see it in combat. So we are leaving this uh, mm, bonfire. See, again, the same bug. I, I didn't have this bug yet before. Okay, let's go back and continue. Can we now move? Hopefully. Mm, I just want to go there. 
Yes, there is combat. Okay. I don't know. This is a weird bug. I didn't have it before. Apparently it happens. Alright, so I'm going to go this way. Uh, fight those two guys on the uh, top and shoot the guy on the bottom, I guess. Uh, yeah, we can use this. Doesn't matter. But I'm not even sure how defense works. But apparently it works somehow. Okay, they can detonate on me. Doesn't matter. What is this? Uh, burning ground. Half damage to ally. This is not the worst. Oh. Oh, it hits everybody. Ooh. That's not bad. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a nice skill. Can clear those pest, uh, pest nasty uh, weed. But they have, they have only 4 HP. It's an interesting skill, I must say. We can take some damage, but we can kill somebody off. So that's not bad. Alright. Let's kill this guy. Now maybe we uh, let's check uh, the guy leveled. So, all right, he leveled. All right, we pick one of the two. So this is the customization. You pick one of the two talents four times, and that's it. That's your customization. Plus all the, uh, well, all the items you find. You can pick three and put on one of the characters. There's no real. Uh, you know, character inventory with like weapons, helmets, and stuff like that. No, you have only three slots for items. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do something. Uh, what am I? Aha, you can use four out of six. I get it. So we can have armor. It's very slow, by the way. I don't know why. Burning ground, cause no. Oh, this is useful. Very useful. Very useful spell. You can pretty much always use it. Oh, yeah, so he's wounded. 2 out of uh, 22 out of 24. So, yes, he doesn't heal when he levels. Well, my team is quite healthy. So, we can just keep going, I guess. Let me just switch off one thing. And maybe it's, it's gonna speed up a bit. Hopefully. I'm not sure why the game is a bit slow and not responding every time. And now it's faster, I think. But this bug shouldn't happen. It shouldn't just stop reacting. Okay. Uh, Supposedly, see, this is uh, every statue bonus is persistent effect every game, so this should stay forever. I'm gonna go for crits because I want to kill people with crits. I'm not sure what crits do, but supposedly it's more damage. I don't know how much more. I don't know if it's explained, but let's just go like this. He looks tough. Is he tough? Yes, he's 46. So this is a tank. I'm going to just block him again with my own tank. Let's just check if it's recording. Yeah, it's recording correctly. Uh, I just checked uh, OBS and apparently the game slows down when you go to other window. Mm, right, so I'm just gonna attack normally. Probably I should have attacked instantly with uh, skills to make uh, the cooldown uh, go down as fast as possible back uh, to where it should be. Alright, so this hits everybody. That's very useful. Very, very good. I, th I see that uh, Wizard can be very useful. Alright, this is no no brainer. Like you always use it because it's double damage, kinda theoretically at least. That's what it says. It's not really doesn't doesn't feel like it twice damage, but maybe normally I would do three damage. Uh, okay, so we can just attack three rounds to uh, burning ground. Hopefully we won't make it for three rounds. I hope he will die faster. Uh, if we make it for 3 rounds, that means he's gonna attack our guy for 3 rounds, that's not good. And we can maybe finish him off? No, 2 damage is crap. Apparently he has 20 defense, whatever that is. My defense, I have 3 defense. Yeah, he must be a, like... Uh, resistant to damage for, for some way, but I'm not sure how it, how it counts. Like We have 3, they have 20, it kinda reduces. No idea, it's not explained. Alright, provoke cooldown is reduced by one. I'm not sure what it is, uh, so it doesn't matter. I'll just keep going. What is provoke? Is it specific attack? Maybe it's specific attack of one of the heroes, but I'm not sure what it does. Maybe it improves one of our skills. I'm not sure what's provoke. Do we have provoke? No, we have encouraging and strike. I'm not sure what they mean by provoke. Alright, this is damage. This guy is gonna poison us and generally do a lot of annoying damage. Uh, we are wounded, but still okay. 
I definitely want to wound all three. Especially if we can crit with that. Yeah, I should have used the special attack, but I didn't. Still, he would be still alive, even if I used it. I'm afraid. Yeah, they're all attacking my visa. That's bad. We are dead. Yeah, now we're gonna die, probably. I can use this, I guess. And uh, no, it won't be enough. Can't do enough damage to all of them. I can do this. Eight. That's not bad. But they also have some uh, resistance to, to damage. Of course we die. And our wizard will be useless now. That's what happens if they get wounded. Then, then we have problems. Alright. I'm moving further. I'm not sure what exactly they mean by maps. What, uh, what's a map? What's a boss? What is this, by the way? Ah, it's just our general tree of uh, skills and stuff like that. Right, so we kinda made it through one of the maps, maybe the second one, maybe third. I'm not sure how, how it's counted. Is it one world with multiple maps? And then we go to another world. 10% crit damage. I definitely want that. That is uh, pretty cool, but we don't have money. Right, we could get an item, but we have no money. That would be combat. But again, the same bug. Alright, going back. And continue, yeah, so it's not really, um, the, the bugs don't appear because something is in the background, because I switched it off, they just appear randomly, sometimes the character doesn't move for some reason, but you can fix it, so at least that. Okay, so this is an ambush, supposedly, five of them from both sides, probably we're dead here, I guess we, we are. This guy's wounded, and probably will die now. Who am I supposed to fight? I'm not sure. Basically, fighting them does nothing. You don't get experience. Uh, yeah, we have 11 HP. That's all we have. And now we're gonna die, clearly. For. Uh, yeah, they are gonna attack us, probably. This guy's what? Six. Maybe I can kill him. I think the uh, cats are going to kill Wizard. Yeah. They bleed him. Four damage and bleed. Not sure where is the bleed right now. I don't know if I can see it anywhere. Apparently we have bleed somewhere. Yeah, we have two bleed. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say what it does. We have bleed. We have to know what it does. It does to damage, apparently. I'm not sure if, uh, if this can stack. Uh, we can win, actually. And keep progressing. Uh, this will be combat, probably with a boss. I guess this is a boss. And this is what? Uh, this is just another power. Now we can move properly. I'm not sure what's this thing. What if we go all the way back? By the way, I would like to be able to go further, not just one tile at a time. Because it's just more clicking for no reason. Okay, we got something. Uh, more critical damage. Let's see who has it. I would give it to the wizard, actually. Let's see the chance. Uh, yeah, this is probably mm, the power of critical. This was upgraded. What are the chances? Character. Ah, yeah, here we change it. This is the same. They all have 12 chance and different numbers. Yeah, there's, there's a different number here because we have this guy. We have this, uh, well, the skull. So one guy can have uh, stronger crits, but the chance is 12% always. What does this do? Aha. Uh -huh. Every point, 1%. So 8%. So that's nothing. 20 would be 20%. That's, yeah, that's logical. Speed is what? One hex. One hex for every point. I guess it's the same. Not sure if we can have better speed. What is this? Uh, one hex for every point. It's like, I don't, I don't get it. It's always one one hex for one point. Maybe, maybe he can move two hexes and the other guys move one hex in general. Per, per combat. Maybe that this slow. Yeah, it's possible. So speed is quite rare, probably. Alright, let's fight. It's probably gonna be the boss. Yeah, it's one boss. So we block him again. I can attack with the new attack. Holy Blast. More damage again, no brainer. It's not like you have to choose really, you kind of have to use it uh, always because it's a sensible attack to have. Just do more damage on first attack. Why, why wouldn't you? It's like a basic stuff, could be a passive actually. Like, 
Yeah, this, this is a choice because you can count on, on, on crits, which might be stronger, right? Because you can have modifiers to stronger crits. But this one is like, of course, I want to do more damage. Or, okay, I have a choice. I could, I could buff instead. But if I'm attacking, of course, I want my first attack to be stronger whenever possible. Mm. This one, okay, one attack, nothing to do with that, just basic, basic attacks. You could hide with this guy, but it's not a problem, it's not him who is dying. Usually Wizard is dying. And he's going for, yeah, he's going for the guy with lowest, yeah, of course, because he was wounded. So if you wanted to finish him off, that's the AI. That is pretty good, actually, yeah, it is. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Uh, we got magic finding. I'm not sure how it works, but it's better, I guess. Uh, right, so we are gonna lose our, again, the same bug. Going out of this, continue. Yeah, I know it's better, but still. In the first time I played, I didn't have this bug at all. So I don't know why now it happens. Is this the boss again? Super short map. So I don't know if this is the world. Is this the second world or second... It's not the second map, it's like fourth map, but second world, I guess, because it's like desert one. Uh, 72. Alright, let's attack with everything. He's going to kill very quickly our wizard, but no, wizard is now healed for some reason. Even though he was wounded, I don't get it. Completely. He just died, and now he, he is full. Maybe it's new map, maybe that's why. Alright, so we can do full damage, kinda. <coughs> Is going to do this. Alright, we have this attack that can deal with it. Can't deal with this guy. That's a problem. Is it plus two? If it's plus two, this, this is nothing. Because we need way more than 2% reduction. Alright, let's kill this guy. I would have to move the wizard, I guess. Or maybe not. Now we can attack. So that's cool. I think I was something. No, he attacked when he. Uh, Got out of the hole. Someone said this is a used asset. Well, personally, I don't care really. It's not a problem for me. That's not not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know all the assets in all games. So whatever. It's a worm. It's a boss. It works properly. So I don't mind it, even if it's a used asset. I have more problem with the back because it shouldn't be there. You should you know always react properly if you're moving your character. Not that your mouse button is not working. That's very weird. Now we're dead. Oh no, we're not. Yes, we are. Of course we are. Wizard always dies. Alright. Can do nothing about it. If they die, then don't, don't get experience. So he will be behind. That's, there's nothing I can do you know, to, to fight it. Now we have a bug, sort of. Didn't finish. Why didn't finish? I would have to finish those guys. I'm not sure if this was always the case. But maybe. Yeah, they leveled. Sudden shoot cooldown. Yeah, I'm not sure how this book of skill works. Let's see if it's even shown here. Uh, I know they go sudden shoot. Maybe this is the sudden shoot. Does he have shot sudden shoot? Let's see. Uh, this is what? Aim shot, smoke bomb, dragon shoot. This is what? Sudden shoot, which we don't have. Okay. By the way, it doesn't say cooldown here. It's not shown. What is it? Five turn cooldown. This one, not saying. So, hard to say. And are we again full health? Yes, because we move to another map. Alright. Let me check the recording. 24 minutes. We have to f uh, finish soon. I don't have to die on purpose. I'm not sure if I will play this game. I'm kind of in between. Like, I could grind it. Because I like I like generally grinding games like that and finishing them, but at the same time it's not very fascinating. It's just a grinding. You could do it while doing something else generally. You know, you could download something and play it in the meantime for half an hour. I'm not sure if I want to grind it instead of other games, but it's not something I want to instantly delete. It's kind of I would say it's playable generally. Not sure how uh, far it goes. Probably if you beat the game, you beat the game. That's it. You have to stack a lot of bonuses from those shrines and eventually probably finish. What is this? Sudden shoot. Now it says two turns. Yeah, probably it's because of the font. Slow target. It does nothing. It's gonna slow this guy, which is useless. 
I should have uh, slowed the melee guy, probably. But we killed the uh, ranged guy, so that's also cool. Alright, uh, let's finish off the cats. Hopefully, of course not. He just takes it, as always. Alright. One more attack, probably. Yeah, we take even more damage from bleed. A level up, that's cool. We can get more stuff for our guy, one of them. Which one is it? I will level, yeah, I will level 3 already. I d yeah, I didn't give them powers, probably. He needs what? Uh, speed or this one? Yeah, crit damage for sure. This is what? Base attack challenge always makes. Ooh. This is weird. Very useful. Okay, this guy. More HP. Yeah. And. What is this? More armor. Okay, 38%. That's not bad. Mm hmm. They are stronger now. I can see that. Yeah, I kind of want to grind them to the point where I can win. Uh, what is this? I was here or not? Yeah, I was here. Now it now it works properly. Now it doesn't. See? Again. No reaction. Can't click anything. Hopefully they fix it. Right now, I don't know. If they will. Maybe. Maybe they will fix it. Uh, also, I'm not sure how exactly switch team works. Can I switch team in the middle of fight? Like now? You know what? I'm going to try it. Can we switch team? No, we can't switch team. If we switch team, we're gonna go where? Yeah, it's here. So it's new. It's a different run. You can have a few runs going on. It's not like you can switch people in the team. You can switch the runs. Now again, the bug. Go back. Continue. Quite annoying bug, yeah. But I'm leaving those. You know, it's a beta. I got the key for beta, so I'm showing what's wrong with the beta. Let's take this one. Okay, it's just one item. Map fine, yeah, you can give it. By the way, I have no idea where is my magic uh, find attribute here. It should be somewhere because it's not here, right? It's somewhere connected from all those items that we have. So we have um, 70 plus 29, which makes 40 something, 46 probably. 46 magic finding. Maybe you have some initial magic finding. I'm not sure how it works, by the way. What exactly does it do? Whatever. Okay, we're going for this fight and probably we'll finish here because I don't want to just prolong it. It, it will be the last boss fight. Uh, so, let's attack. Hopefully this guy is weaker. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, this guy is a tank. So just burn all. Should block it now. Maybe I can do it. So what he always does? Oh, let's finish this guy. Yeah, it's it's critted. I'm not sure if this is the attack that crits every time. Yeah, of course he's dead already, which is just disgusting. Can we attack? No, of course we can't. I don't know why, why I'm slowed. Uh, can we do it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can. I should have attacked the other guy and finish him off so that he stops attacking me. Right. Of course he goes for this guy. Of course he does. So annoying. The AI is very annoying. But yeah, it's nothing. See, there's nothing you can do about it. They're just gonna go for it. They're just gonna go for your guy and kill him. You could slow him maybe, but aside from that, there's nothing you can do. It's so much HP that's gonna get to your weakest guy anyway. Unless you could kind of block them maybe here. Th then this guy would be shooting. Yeah, there's some strategy here. Definitely. You can probably have some close calls many times. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I have my very weak team. It is now full health. So I can go slightly further and maybe unlock some shrines. I'm probably gonna grind it a bit more. Um, yeah, maybe let's go back to many and I'm gonna sum up in a, in a few words. Words, not worlds. So, um, it's beta and it's not much content uh, in terms of especially team and customization. You pick one of the two talents, so it makes five talents of one type or five talents of another type. You have uh, quite some items. I don't, I'm not sure how many, but they're quite different, so that's a good part. But uh, 
it's just three items per guy. So you focus on something. You focus on damage, you focus on uh, magic find, you focus on something else. And that's all you can do. You can slightly improve something. It's nice that it has the shrines that you will leave some power for your next team, which adds to replayability. Uh, not sure about the size. Uh, the game says something about four worlds. I'm not sure what is a world. Definitely not, not a map because I think we covered four maps. And it wasn't the end. So maybe that's like, um, let's say forest, desert and something like underworld. So I don't know. They are not explained. So I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going for, you know, from one area to another area. I'm doing the same things. It's just that the hex styles look different. So we moved through some bosses from one map to another somewhere. I'm not sure how close I am to the end. I'll probably see it when I grind uh, to the point where I can just, uh, you know, destroy everybody, which now doesn't work. My team is definitely too weak to just keep winning. They died last time, they're probably gonna die this time, so after a couple of attempts you will be able to grind and win. Um, the price not the best, I would say. It's not a very expensive game, it's like eight dollars, but uh, you know you can still have a better game for eight dollars. It's not much content for that. You could wait for like XCOM or uh, Massive Chalice and have another um, turn-based game. If you want a roguelike, there is tons of roguelikes and roguelites of different kind. Uh, usually much more complex, like Soul of Stars The Pit is very very complex game and rather cheap. Uh, Dead Cells is rather cheap on sale and it's like, I already played 40 hours. I know it's not the same genre, but it depends what you want really. If you want a hex-based tactical uh, strategy game, well, Heroes of Might and Magic is much bigger and better. Or uh, King's Bounty. If you want a roguelike, roguelite as such, there is a whole a group of them, many of them are indie and many of them are rather cheap. So you can look on sales and you know grab like Darkest Dungeon on sale and it's gonna give you tons of fun with very very big complexity. I would say that asking price for this little content is not the best uh, unless you're absolutely for this particular game or for this particular genre like you know exactly this. I mean you want a hex based combat but you also want roguelike and maybe you already played other games. Uh, there is a couple of them, I'm not sure, like, exactly sure about names. There is this Tomb of something, and that's like a uh, Dungeons and Dragons game. I'm not sure if it's going to be called the roguelike, it's more like roguelite when you grind and grind and eventually finish. Uh, it's kind of different mechanics, but it's you know comparative game. I know there's War Tile, which I didn't play because it's too expensive, but I kind of looked at it and it looked nice. Uh, kind of like Diorama with hexagonal combat as well. So there is a choice. There's always a choice if you are not necessarily into a very specific game, you're just looking for something like this. You should always look around and compare what's there, what's available. So this is your choice. Do you want to spend this much money for this particular game or not? I would say it needs more content. Uh, is it playable? Yes, it is playable. It is definitely playable. You can uh, play it, you can grind it, you can die and start over. It's gonna give you a few hours of fun for sure. Is it worth eight dollars? I wouldn't say so. I would say it's worth some money. I I, I can't say it's a bad game. I would give it six out of ten. It's more positive than negative. It does this one gimmick of using a group of um, adventurers in a roguelite conditions and just progressing slowly from one run to another. It does it. It does it correctly, but um, it's not big game. It's not m offering that much, especially in terms of customization. There is a little bit of it, of course. You, you know, there will be differences between you know doing crit strike every time or not. Of course, it's a good choice. But many choices are obvious. Like, of course, if you have everything on cooldown, you're gonna attack with basic attack as a ranged character because you have nothing else to do. That's the only thing you can do at this point. You have to shoot one guy on the uh, enemy team. You can only choose which one, but that's very basic. You just pick targets and and then move to another round. Many situations are like you can do nothing because if you have a wounded wizard and they have two or three ranged guys, they're gonna kill you in the next round. You can't kill them all because you can do this much damage. You are wounded, so you have like four or six HP. They do let's say four. There's three of them. You're dead. 
at this point. You, ha you can do nothing. You cannot use a health potion. Uh, you could theoretically use um, bonfire if there is any, but if you if you are in such situation on the map that there is no bonfire, you cannot rest anywhere, like go to an inn and pay money, nothing like that. If you lose your HP, you lose it. Uh, so there is not nothing you can do. Simply well, kind of like Darkest Donjon, you can say if you you can re rest like one or two times there, and then it's over. Like if you if you're out of your healing, you're out of your healing. You can do nothing. If you don't have a healer, no no potion, you can't heal. Uh, so is here. There is no healer. Uh, as far as I know, unless there are some, some other skills that I didn't see. So far I didn't have any healer. So uh, you heal after beating the boss, you heal a little bit uh, after you were uh, resurrected, but that's just 20% HP, and then you can heal in the bonfire if there is any. And if you lose too much HP, if your whole team is battered, then next fight is gonna be the last one, because there is just no way to win in some situations. But that's okay, you know, if you are progressing with the shrines, if you are getting stronger, then eventually you will be so strong you will be able to progress, I guess. I, unless there is uh, some low cap on those, but hopefully there is no cap. I would, I would like it to be no cap. I, I don't know, I can tell you. Uh, does it work? Well, aside from this bug where you can't move on the map until you go to many and back, well, luckily you don't lose any progress, it's just annoying. I didn't encounter any other bugs, so yeah, the, the combat works as in any other uh, hexagonal uh, tactical strategy, strategy game. Nothing wrong about it. Uh, numbers kind of make sense. Defense does some, does some um, percentage reduction. Uh, the damage is calculated randomly. It can be upgraded. It can be a crit hit. There is a chance for crits. And all makes sense, generally speaking. Just very few characters. You're probably gonna play with three guys all the time, like the three of your choice. At this point, I would just play with this uh, team that I showed you, just wizard, uh, ranger, and this knight, and just keep going until I win. And uh, yeah, I guess that would be it for this game. So we have to make our own decision at, at the end. Uh, I showed you a couple of fights, a little bit of a run. I'm not, not sure how far I am in the game. If you know, that you can write in the comments. How, how much I covered in 20 something minutes. And uh, I'm gonna stop here and leave you with this review. Uh, I would give it 6 out of 10. It's a nice attempt, but it needs more content or lower price. But it's playable, it's a positive review. And I'll see you guys in the next one with another game.